Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, children. So we just started a, a surface area in volumes, menstruation chapter, isn't it? And we discussed surface area of of. We discussed surface area of. Cuboid. Huh? Cuboid. cuboid. Yes. We discussed the surface area of cuboid. And what is the uh, surface area of a cuboid, Anandita? Surface area of a cuboid is. Two into LB. Oh. Two into LB plus BH plus HL. Two into LB plus BH plus HL. Then Nandana. Lateral surface area of a cuboid is. Ma'am, two H uh, into uh, L plus B. Two H into L plus B. All of you write both the formula twice now itself in your book. Total TSA. TSA of cuboid equal to two into L B plus B H plus H L. Write twice both. <clears throat> Adigesh, formula for la um, la lateral surface area? 2H into L plus B. 2H into L plus B. Amaljit, TSA for cuboid? Yes, ma'am. Mm. 2 into LB plus BH plus HH. 2 into LSA. 2H into Mm. Okay. Tamanna, TSA. Tamanna. Lakshmi, TSA. Lakshmi. Idlio, TSA of cuboid. And Lakshmi, yes, ah. Lakshmi LSA of cuboid. Uh, 2H into L plus B. Okay, I mean, LSA. <clears throat> I mean, LSF keyboard. Anjana, LSF keyboard. Fadil. Yes, ma'am. LSF keyboard. 2H into L plus B. Alvin, TSA. And do it well, LB plus BH plus HL. HL, okay. Now we are going to study TSA and LSA of cube. Okay. Uh, after that, we will do an exercise uh, contains questions from both cuboid and cube. So you next write total surface area of a cube. Next setting is total surface area of a cube. <clears throat> TSA. How many uh, faces for a cube? Six. Six faces. Six. An example for cube? Anyone? Rubik's cube. Rubik's cube. See, it's there with me. Rubik's cube. Uh, how many of you know how to solve this? Hmm? Does anyone knows? Ad Adikesh, Alan, Alsan. Okay, by what time can you, Adikesh? Um, I don't record my time. And, and Alvin? Uh, 52 seconds. 15. 52. 52. <laughs> Alan? Uh, I'm under uh, 1 minute 30 seconds. Under 1 minute? 1 minute 30 seconds. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, good. Others, you try to solve it. Okay. How many of you have this with you? Ruby's cube? Okay. When you're going out, all of you buy and try. Okay. And is anyone uh, 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 Ritwik? Okay, okay. Okay, Ritwik. Ritwik, Adike, Shalvin, Alan, can you solve 4 by 4? This is a 3 by 3. 4 by 4, anyone tried? Hmm? No. Those who know how to solve 3 by 3 by a uh, 4 by 4 uh, Rubik's Cube, then try it. There are so many different types of Rubik's Cube are available in the market. 
by any one those who don't know by three by three then try it okay okay and uh, last uh, 2019 we have conducted a uh, competition on rubik's cube is anyone participated in our school is anyone math club conducted is anyone participated no okay so okay so <clears throat> rubik's cube is an example for cube and uh, there are six faces and what is the difference between a cuboid and a cube difference between a cuboid uh -huh. huh. for cube, cube all its sides are equal all its sides are equal for a cube all its sides are equal so cube has six faces and this is the figure when we unfold a cube there are six faces and all having a shape what what is the shape of all sides square square all sides are a square and we know that area of a square is area of square is what s into s s into s if it is side a it will be if the side is a area will be a into a no, area of a square with the side a side a is a square so let us consider a cube with the edge length of edge each side uh, length uh, each edge is of length a then as we know it has six faces six a squares are there six squares so six areas six x a squares so total surface area total surface area of a cube will be equal to six a square Understood? How does it come? We have six faces. We have six faces in a cube, and if each edge has a length a, and each face is a square of side a, so there are area of each side is a square. So there are six a square since there are six faces. So a square plus 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 a square. Six a square give. We are adding six a square area of six sides. So total surface area of a cube is six a square. Right? Right. That total surface area of a cube is six a square. Okay, now all of you think about its lateral surface area. What it will four be? Is, four is. Four is square because we are considering on uh, only four sides. Upper portion and uh, bottom portion are excluded, remaining four as squared. So that also you can write lateral surface area of a cube is four as square. Write that also. Lateral surface area of a cube is. And let's say lateral surface area of a cube is four a square. Lateral surface area of a cube is four a square. Okay. So uh, here we have only four formulae to study in this exercise. That is TSA of a cuboid. That is two into LB plus BH plus HL. And TSA of uh, cube is six a square. Then LSA of a cuboid is two H in twelve plus B. And LSA of a cube is four a square. Now we have some questions to do. Okay, let us start. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> okay. First we did, isn't it? Second one. Okay, start doing. After, after knowing all the all these four formula, you can do all these exercises. No need to explain anything. Everything will be direct. 
Yes, Ellen. Do you ask anything? Ma'am, second question. Please. Second one. Second. First, we did know last day. Second one. <coughs> the length, breadth, and height of a room are five meter, four meter, three meter, respectively. Find the cost of whitewashing the walls of the room and ceiling at the rate of 7.50 per meter square. Whitewashing the walls and the ceiling. <clears throat> Walls of uh, the room means it is the room. What's the shape of a room? Room is length breadth uh, height is given so it is a cuboid mm -hmm. and walls means it is the area of what what area of a cuboid walls represents walls represents which area mm -hmm. huh? yes anandita say walls represents the four walls lateral. represents lateral yes lsa and whitewashing is done on the walls and the roof so roof's area will be what? Hmm? What are the dimensions of roof? Roof. Hmm? Which one? B into? B into. H is there for wall. You look up, look at your top of your room. And for that roof, H is there. L into B. L into B. L into B. Bottom and top having only L into B. Isn't it? Sides having H. Clear? Abhiram, is that clear? Okay, okay. Okay. So the required area will be or area of walls plus roof or ceiling. Ceiling is First of all, lateral surface area, 2H into L plus B plus ceiling has LB. Walls represents LSA plus LB. <coughs> Children, all of you, is that clear? Walls represent LSA. Nivedya, Vinet, clear? Yes, Walls represent LSA. Sridev? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and roof or ceiling represent only L and B. <coughs> so 2H into L plus B. 2, 2H into L plus B plus LB. Tom, clear? Yes, ma'am. Ah, do it. Substitute. <coughs> Substitute and find the area first. Then area mm -hmm. into. Hmm? Can we use LB plus 2 into B explicitly? Ah, yes. No problem. LB plus 2H into L plus B. No problem. If you wrote LB plus uh, commutative, addition is commutative. Required area. Required area equal to Area of walls plus ceiling. <clears throat> Everything is given. All measurements are given. Substitute and find out the area. Then area into cost per meter square. 7.5.
Area how much? Hmm? Ma'am, 74. 74. 74. Mm -hmm. That is 2H. H is uh, 3. 2 into 3. 2 into 3. L plus B. Five hundred and fifty-five. Five hundred and fifty-five. Ah, yes. Cost for whitewashing the walls of the room. Cost for whitewashing the walls and ceiling of the room is rupees 555. Can try third one. After completing second one, you can try third one. One by one questions you can do. If any, if any doubt, you can ask. Well, if you wrote the question, floor of a rectangular hall has a perimeter 250. So that 200 and floor, uh, perimeter of a uh, floor, perimeter of the floor is floor. Floor has dimensions. Which of the dimensions it has? Floor of a hall has? Dimensions, which of the dimensions it has? Amaljit, floor of a rectangular. Uh, so its dimensions will be will be what? It has some length and breadth. breadth. Uh, it, it won't there won't be any height for the floor. Okay. So dimensions of the floor is length and breadth. And what is the perimeter? Formula dimensions of floor are L and B. 
therefore perimeter formula two into two into l plus b yes salen correct two into l plus b okay and given that two into l plus b is how much how much it is given that it is equal to 250 so l plus b is what 225 225 let it be there l plus b is 225 now cost for why to pay ah i'm 125 one sorry 125 125 125 now cost for cost for uh, paint uh, painting the four walls per uh, for per meter square it is rupees 10 and the total cost is 15000 okay so total cost given that total cost is 15000 Rupees fifteen thousand, and it is equal to total cost is equal to cost per meter square into area, isn't it? Cost per meter square into area. That is fifteen thousand equal to cost per meter square is ten. Ten into area of the four walls. Formula. See <clears throat> hmm? the area of four walls. Area of four walls. What will be the formula? Two H L hmm. plus B. Two H into L plus B. That is fifteen thousand into equal to equal to ten into two into H into From one we have what is L plus B? L plus B is one twenty five. You can write from one. <clears throat> Now you can get X. H equal to fifteen thousand divided by ten into two into one twenty. Right. Height is six meter. Hmm. Height is six. How much? Height is six meter. Hmm. Correct. Zero. We can cancel. Seven fifty and two. Then six. Mean correct it. Mm. We can do this in another way, right? Mm. Wait, say we will discuss. 
मैम टू फिफ्टी इंडू टेन प्लस एच सी इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड हाँ सही मैम आई डिन हियर टू टू फिफ्ट टू फिफ्टी इंडू टेन इंडू टू फिफ्टी कॉस्ट टू फिफ्टी इंडू टेन इंडू प्लस एच प्लस एच इस प्लस एच इस इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड then so uh, mm. that 250 will come to right side 250 and 10 uh. so it will be division no if it is plus here it won't be division only if it is multiplication it, it will be division otherwise minus then if it is plus ma'am ma 250 and 10 is or uh, see see Uh, 2 into 3 hmm? plus k equal to 7 then 2 into 3 then k is not equal to 7 by 2 into 3 2 into 3 is 6 no 6 plus k equal to 7 k equal to 7 minus 6 you can't write k equal to 7 by 6 It's wrong clear alan Alan, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Two uh, into three plus k equal to seven means then k equal to seven minus. Here it is. This two into three is six. So seven minus six. Only uh, if it is uh, seven into or two uh, into three into k equal to seven, then you can write k equal to seven by two into three. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. 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 Correct it. Okay, over. Shall we with the next one, fourth one? Okay. Irene, no. Okay, start doing. Ma'am. Hmm. Ah, uh, ma'am. Uh, that two two fifteen do. Type type your answers. If anyone got ma before dis uh, discussing it, type it. Ah yes, sir. Ah. Uh. Third one. Third one. So two fifteen to ten means to h is equal to one thousand. Uh, one second, one second, one second, <laughs> one second. Okay. Okay, let's say. Mama, two fifteen to ten means to h is equal to fifteen to ten means to h is equal to ah yes. Fifteen thousand years. That same thing, same thing we did. But because but we we wrote so many steps. Only the difference. You're correct, Alan. Okay. Okay. 
I wrote all the steps because this year uh, for this exam you have to write the steps. That's why I wrote. Okay, see the same thing. Where it is? Oh. 10 into H into 250. Uh, I, I rub it. Okay, Alan, the same thing. Okay. okay. I wrote all the steps because, because uh, this year you are going to write a descriptive paper. No, that's why I wrote. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Paint in a certain container is sufficient to paint an area equal to 9.375. And dimension of one brick is given. And how much area we can paint using the total, uh, 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 total paint, that is total container of paint is 9.375. So first of all, what we have to find? We need to get the number of bricks that can be painted. So first step, what we need to find? Anyone? Hmm? Total surface area. Of what? Of the brick. Brick, yes. First of all, you have to find it. Total surface area of one brick. One brick. And it is uh, nine point three something. Nine point this uh twenty two point five into ten into seven point five. How much? Twenty two point five. Everything is centimeter now. Okay, finally we will convert. It is equal to nine point three seven five. Two into no two into L B plus B H plus H L nine point ah. Uh? Two into two into plus equal to nine point. Nine point three seven five. Nine point three seven five. Yes, sir. Others twenty two point five into ten is two point two five two decimal places. Then seven point five. Others also get the same one nine point. Is that nine point three seven five? No, I think nine three seven point uh, five. How much? Nine three seven point five. Nine thirty seven. Alan, because see each quantity is this is uh, ten point so it is seventy five. So nine point is less than that. No. Alan, nine point is very small quantity. Here itself, seven point into <clears throat> seven point into ten, we are getting seventy five. So I think your decimal places are wrong. Nine thirty seven point five. Nine thirty seven point five centimeter square. 
okay you do one thing you complete uh, you try to complete otherwise we will discuss during next period because our time is up i don't know what will happen in board 7 today okay anyway we will do problems that board has that board and myself is <laughs> okay bye thank you children bye all thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am